Alrighty guys, what is going on? This is going to be the start of a cool little series I'm doing that's going to be showing the documentation and process of the restoration of five Roomba J7s. This was a lot that was on eBay for a little while. I paid, I offered 200 for the whole lot. There's five of them in here. They accepted it, very excited about it. They have also a, lot, a bunch of other lots of other robot vacuums too, so check them out, out if you want to get some deals or if you want to get some experience with fixing some of these guys. So without further ado, I'm really looking forward to this, seeing what problems they each have and seeing if we can fix them. So here we go. Now, I don't know how well these are packed, but I'm just going to be very gentle when I open this. I don't want to accidentally scratch the top of one of them. It is a very heavy box, by the way. Okay. There is, oh my goodness, where they all are. They just stacked them. Look at this. They just stacked vertically, so let's see. Whoa, that's cool in person. It's actually not in bad shape, to be honest with you. Really nice, just very dusty, very dirty. Rollers are intact on this one. Definitely salvageable. Very heavy. Feels heavier than the i7. I don't know. So this is the first one. Looks really cool. That's probably like the best condition one. Some of these look really bad, by the way. Here's number two. Again, very dirty. Scratched up on the bumper, but nothing we can't handle. This one's going to need the camera to probably be disassembled and cleaned. I don't know if there's supposed to be like a... I guess there's not supposed to be a part that... Also, bumper's intact. Very nice. There's, oh, wait a minute. These are different than the ones that were pictured in the listing. Okay, so this one, again, very dirty. Those rollers, I don't know if we're gonna be saving those rollers, but I'm, I'm very shocked because in the listing, it showed only two of them came with rollers and one of them was just caked in sand. These ones don't look half bad. This is a lot, this is like best case scenario right now. Next one, again, rollers included. Just super dirty. And the last one. This is probably the dirtiest one. Again, rollers and wow. This is a big surprise, you guys. I was expecting that these were gonna need a lot more restoration, like physically, but they just need a really heck of a good cleaning and um, they all have rollers. I'm gonna see if I can clean them off. Obviously, they'll all need to get deep cleaned, but not bad at all. Really, really nice. Really cool robots in person. I'm curious if these are uh, J7150s or 550s. This one is a 550, so this one came with the empty bin. Came with a self-empty bin. So this one. 550 as well. They're probably all 550. I don't know if we're getting any 150s in this. I'm checking the serial numbers. That one's got some debris in the bin. Another 550. It's not smell very good. And they're kind of leaking all over the place. I'll have to clean that up with one of my other Roombas. This one. 550. Again, they're probably all 550s. I don't have any spare self-empty bins to sell them with. I do have a bunch of spare regular dogs to sell them with. That's what we get. And again, 550. So they're all 550s, J7 550s. So they all were sold and once operated with self-empty bins. That being said, they almost look, if I got two more Roombas, I can make the iDog logo here. If I put one in there and there. <laughs> so. That is the unboxing. I'm not going to be testing them in this video. I'm going to be testing them in the next video. But first, I want to give them all deep cleanings so that they are, you know, a little more sanitary before I start doing some tests and some deeper disassemblies. Some of these I would definitely want to disassemble the bumpers, clean in where, like, the camera is. Because these actually have obstacle avoidance, as you can see. The first robot I've ever tested with an actual camera here. But some of these have like sand all within this camera that I'm gonna have to clean out of dust or something. But 
Best case scenario, you guys, we got actually a lot better room condition rumors than I was expecting. That being said, thank you guys for watching this video. Okay, guys, so I, I had to complete the iDog circle just for the sake of my iDog YouTubers out there. So, yep, it looks pretty cool. Look at the difference. Okay. It's so crazy how different these two look when literally the only big change they made was camera here to, to the front. But, like, I honestly like the look of the i7 a little better just because it's more, you know, shiny. This one's more like, I don't know. It's kind of more dull, to be honest. But, obviously, this one is better in the sense that it has obstacle avoidance and performs probably better in terms of the mechanics. But, obviously, this is an 870. This is a really old one. Really outdated compared to the latest generation. But, still great for what it is. It's basically a 900 series Roomba without smart navigation. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to go ahead and start cooking these guys up with the restoration, so stay tuned for more videos.